Thank you very much, Jared Ware. We thank uh, both Kevin Renterod and Bryce Nugent for joining us as well. Now joined by someone who hasn't worked for Newport before, but is making his first trip ever here to Cardines Field, Matthias Gauss, the radio broadcaster and ESPN Radio Keen, who travels with the team as well. And Matthias, welcome here to Cardines Field. Thank you for having me. It's a beautiful place. It's very unique, and I'm just really taking it all in right now. You only got here a few minutes ago, but anything uh, initially strike you out here? Uh, just walking over from the bus depot, you know, it's, it's sort of an odd thing, but, you know, how the stadium's really just carved into the city block is just, it's something, a sight to see for sure. Now, this is uh, your first year working with the Keene Swamp Ads. What got you into broadcasting? What got you with the Swamp Ads? Well, uh, I graduated from Quinnipiac in the, in the, the, in the month of May this past spring, so. It's just been a factory for any CBL broadcast. <laughs> right, so, of course, Mark Schwartz was here last year, Alex Birch the year before, so just following in the footsteps as they are uh, able to go on and do bigger and better things. So just sort of passing the torch on and just continuing that trend. So the Newport Gulls, Keene Swamp Bats, two first-place teams here tonight. Did you think mid-late June that the Keene Swamp Bats would be battling for first place? First place with Vermont here in the last two weeks of the season. No, when they we were at three and eleven going to the month of July, and we you know just sort of thought, all right, we can get back to five hundred, you know, maybe get you know fourth or third in the West and just let the playoffs play out. But now it's up to seventeen and two in the month of July, nine game winning streak now, and it's just been sort of a surreal wave over the past month. Yeah, the Swamp Bats off to one of the best starts in the month of July in league history here and have surged from last place to first and have overtaken the Vermont Mountaineers coming into tonight's game. What's been the catalyst? What's changed? Uh, I think everything's just going right at all at the right time. The hitting has been clicking. Everyone is doing their job. And the one key thing, I think, it's a different guy every night. You got you have some guy like Zach Lucas goes out 9 for 10 in a doubleheader, and then Ryan Lukacs goes 5 for 6 in the next doubleheader. And you get guys down in the order just doing their job. And the pick, pitching has come around over the last couple of days. You have Nick Kozlowski has, been a, has done a very good job coming in as a late addition, coming from the Cape. And then Brian Hunter has really come into his own over the past couple starts. Uh, right now, of course, the goal is coming into tonight's game. Also first place in the Eastern Division, so a battle here, first place teams. Uh, looking forward to a good contest here tonight, but this is a keen Swamp Bat team that gave the goals a run for their money and perhaps too much to handle about back in Keene on July 3rd. Yeah, uh, that was a crazy game. Of course, it was Independence Eve, so 5,000 people up at Alumni Field. Uh, just sort of a you know surreal atmosphere there, and a crazy game nonetheless, and Keene was able to come out 8-7 with the victory, and probably one of the better games I've seen all year long. Now with the Swamp Bats, you're on ESPN Radio. You travel with the team, but you also have an internet broadcaster as well for the road games. And at home, you work with the other broadcasters around the league. So you go back and forth. You're solo on the road. You work with the, as, as a tandem at home. Uh, it's going to be an in interesting uh, perspective, something that's probably unique to Keene and maybe just a couple other teams in the country. Yeah, it's definitely unique, and uh, I've been lucky enough with some people I know for d different teams been able to hop on on the road broadcast and make life a little easier. But yeah, like you said, it's definitely di uh, different when working up with you and you guys came up to Keene, and now you're hopping on with Jamie, and he's going to do a great job tonight as he's done all year long. And it's definitely a unique thing, but at the same time, it's fun. Finally, the All-Star game yesterday saw the uh, Swamp Bats uh, send a few players, including J.P. Sportman, who we heard is going to be a late scratch here tonight, perhaps? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll see how Coach Winter Road does. But uh, he was uh, pulled after his first at-bat, but went one for one with the RBI double, drove in the only run for the Western Division. And even yesterday, too, Tommy Amon, two for two. Zach Lorisello also picked up a hit. And the two pitchers, Matthew Clancy and Nathan Kirby, both went strong inning, only giving up two hits between each other. So overall, a very good outing from the Swamp Bats yesterday. East meets West yet again here tonight at Cardinals Field. Matthias Gauss, thank you for joining us thank here you. on the pregame show. Thank you for having me. And we'll have the manager show next. Mike Coombs will join us here on the NECBL Broadcast Network.